but you don't want to use a double action airbrush in the same way as you use an aerosol can. So in order to demonstrate, I'm going to add some magenta paint into the airbrush. So when people first start to learn how to airbrush, what they do is they kind of use it as if they're using a aerosol can and they're pressing down and pulling back on the paint to try and you know build up a tone but all that's going to do is give you a really uneven tone and it's going to be extremely hard to airbrush with. Because this is a double action airbrush what you actually need to do is press down for air, keep the air pressed down at all times and then pull back for paint.